All right, what's up, everybody? Um, today, I'm just going to show a quick tutorial video, sort of, uh, how you can set up your uh, Mac, MacBook, whatever, um, with an audio interface uh, so that you can sample internally, um, you know, listen back to your samples so you can still monitor your samples before you record. And uh, also, it lets you preview effects so you can actually throw effects onto this, you know, before you, um, before you record your sample so you can know what it's going to sound like. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is just quickly show you here. You can uh, hit play on this. This is just a YouTube video, obviously. Skip ahead. All right. So obviously you can hear that it's still good and everything. Uh, I'll show you a machine sample mode on. Right. Um, actually, sorry, external. So nothing right now. So was, you still can't hear anything in machine. That's to be expected. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to quickly plug into my headphone jack. And then from that same cord, plug it back into my microphone jack. So basically I have what's coming out from the headphone jack coming right back into the microphone jack. So we'll see what happens now when I hit play in on the YouTube video. It's cranked right now, but there we go. So you can see right now, clearly it is recording a machine. However, I can't hear anything. So I don't know what it's sounding like, anything like that. So it's pretty easy to fix that. Uh, what we're going to do, um, you have to create what's called an aggregate device. I've talked about this in um, previous video. I think it was my one of the Soundflyer ones, the second one maybe. Um, to do this, basically under utilities, uh, audio MIDI setup. You can go right here and you click on this plus arrow you can create an aggregate device which basically combines two um, of your devices what i'm going to be using is my built-in sound flower which is one i made basically uses my built-in output and then the sound flower input and output so it combines those two that way that machine can use both so machine can take the input from the built-in but also send the sounds to sound flower so i can use my interface for that. So that's just done through audio MIDI settings, of course, built in Soundflower, it's already selected. And I just need to lastly run Soundflower. The only thing you have to make sure is that Soundflower is using your interface. So that, that way, whatever machine sends to Soundflower, instead of coming out of my, um, my headphone jack or my built in speakers, which are being used, uh, it's going to go straight to my interface. And when I go to hit play here, you're going to hear still, you should hear nothing. Right, so you can see that that makes a noise, but YouTube, the video isn't actually playing anything. Again, that's to be expected. Uh, now, the reason for that is we have to make a few changes on machine itself. So let's go do that. All right, so we're just kind of looking at the top part of machine here right now. Um, the only thing you're going to miss on the bottom is the shift button. So you can see right here. Uh, actually, let's delete this. And I'm going to go into group H. Select it. Doesn't matter what pad. I'm just selecting a pad here so that you guys can uh, so you guys can see it. So an empty pad. Get out of sampling mode and everything. Um, what you're going to do is create an input here. So you hold Shift, which you can't see, but Shift, and then browse. And um, you got to be under Sound tab, and it's going to be an internal instrument. You have your sampler here. Um, that's just what you'd use if you're recording sounds like a wave or anything or if you're sampling uh, But we're gonna put an input and then just hit browse to get out of that My input is going to be from my external input one So now this input here is going to be re receiving sounds from my built-in um, Plugin which again is coming just from the output uh, So in order for me to be able to actually hear that um, Or actually we'll hit play here Okay, so there you go. I have it playing now. You can see we'll hit sampling mode and machine. And it's going to sample internally now from group H. So this way it's not receiving audio from the built in directly. It's actually receiving like so when the sampling mode here is sampling from group H, which again, I'll show you why that matters in a second. Um, but yeah, I can hear it now, and it's also registering again right here on the screen in sample mode. So that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Um, now, again, I'll show you why this is nice, because when you go over here, you can do this either at the group level or the sound level. 
Um, so let's do it on the sound level right now. We'll select the second module there. We're gonna browse and let's throw on a filter. So now with that filter on, I'm gonna hit play again on the, um, the YouTube video. And there you have it. So now you can hear it's a muffled sound, it's filtered. Now, if I go to group A, let's say, any group, doesn't matter, it can be in group H if you want it. We're gonna record again internally from group H. We're gonna hit start. It's not gonna do anything yet until I hit play because it's below the threshold. There we go, it's recording. And uh, yeah, we'll hit stop on this. There's my wave. And when I hit play here, what's nice is, or sorry, when I hit the pad, again, you can't see, I shouldn't use that pad. Anyways, pad one's recorded. All right, let's duplicate it up here. So that's just a wave file. So that filter that I put on group H, I could take off if I want, whatever I gotta do but this is not using any of my system resources to give me that same file with the, uh, the filter over top of it. So that's what's really nice about this. Now, um, the other thing too is, you know, um, a plugin that um, my boy Flux, uh, he showed me, um, it's called Mono Maker. So again, you know, normally with the machine, when you're sampling, um, you gotta pick, you know, um, whether you want it to be left or right channel Sorry, when it's external, left, right, whatever the case is. Um, what's nice too is you can throw uh, the Mono Maker plugin right over top of this, and you can sample just from the left channel, the right channel. You can flip it, make the stereo track into a mono track, um, anything like that, and then sample it ahead of time. So you don't have to waste time afterwards. You don't have to split the audio on another program. It can be all done in machine. Record your sample, and then you know, get on with your day. Make your beats. Make whatever you got to do. And uh, yeah, it just kind of saves a step when you're um, you're sampling. So hopefully that setup helps a couple people out there, you know, make their stuff a bit faster. And uh, if you have any questions about that, let me know if I missed anything. If it was too quick, hit me up and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.